To work out the values of most trigonometric ratios given the angle, we need to use a calculator. However, there are some special angles where the ratios are simple to remember. These angles can easily be worked out without using a calculator as they produce simple ratios. These angles are the angles 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees, and any multiple of those. We have tools to help us remember these ratios for the different trigonometric ratios. Here are two triangle diagrams, and these diagrams help us to remember these simple ratios. In the first diagram, there is a right angle triangle, a triangle with an angle of 90 degrees, and the other two angles are the special angles, 60 degrees and 30 degrees. Depending on which angle we're working from, the adjacent and opposite side will change, but the hypotenuse will stay the same. We see that our hypotenuse has a length of 2. If we're working from angle 60 degrees, then the adjacent side will be 1, and the opposite side will be the square root of 3. If we work from the angle 30 degrees, the side adjacent to 30 degrees would be the square root of 3, and the opposite side of the angle, 30 degrees, will be 1. In the same way, we can work out the ratios for a 45-degree triangle with a right angle. This helps us to remember the other special angles. We also note that the second triangle is an isosceles triangle, as it has two equal sides and two equal angles, and one different side and angle. If we want to work out the value of cos of 60 degrees, but there's no calculator at hand, or the question asks us to solve it without a calculator, we simply take the cos of 60 degrees using the 60, 30, and 90 degree triangle, and the cos of 60 degrees is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The adjacent side of the angle 60 degrees has a value of 1, and the hypotenuse has a value of 2. Therefore, cos of 60 degrees is equal to half. In the same way, we can work out the value of sine of 30 degrees, which is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side has a value of 1, and the hypotenuse has a value of 2. Therefore, sine of 30 is equal to half. In the same way, we can work out all the different trigonometric ratios using the 30, 60, and 90 degree triangle, and also using the 45 degree triangle. Using 45 degrees, let us work out the value for tan of 45 degrees without using a calculator. We already know that tan will be equal to opposite over adjacent, and the ratio thereof is 1 over 1, which gives us 1. Here's a table with all the different values that theta can take on all the special angles, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. This table can be used to help us remember what the value of these special trigonometric ratios are. For example, cos of 60 degrees is a half, sine of 30 degrees is half, and tan of 45 degrees is 1. Keep in mind that it helps to know the table in order to answer questions that involve no calculator and just special angles.